Hello, hello. Today we're looking at the Amaran T2C tube light. I'm going to give you an overview of the specs. We're going to have a look what's in the box or what's in the bag in this case. We'll look at the different power options available. I'll show you how to operate the unit from the built-in controls. We'll look at the different mounting options because this is a great tube light for mounting in loads of different ways. And finally, I'm going to show you how to operate the light using the Sidus Link app via Bluetooth. So this light is about two foot or 60 centimeters long. That's the actual bit that lights up. And if you attach the battery handle, that's about an extra 21 centimeters. The lighting technology is RGBWW. So you get to use CCT modes and also HSI modes to set any color you want pretty much. As for brightness, this light has a maximum output of about 20 watts or 475 lux at one meter at 5600 CCT. As for color accuracy, this has a TLCI rating of 98 plus and a CRI rating of 95 plus. There's also a four foot long version of this light available. You can control the light manually via DMX or via Bluetooth using the Sidus Link app. Let's take a look at what's in this bag. So you get this carry case as part of a kit, inside which you have the light tube itself. You get this quite beefy screw-in eye that you can screw into the tube. You can use this, for example, to hang the light down. I'm gonna get into mounting options later in this video. We also get a few basic instructions. Got the battery handle itself. This screws in or clicks into the bottom of the light. AC power adapter and AC extension cable. Right, we'll just get this bag out of the way. Don't need that anymore. When it comes to power, there's three main options for this light. The first is DC only power. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this AC adapter. And you can see here, we've got this DC in. Just gonna plug that in there. Take the AC extension cable, plug this end into the power adapter, and then plug this end into a power outlet. So the good thing about using this mode is that we've not got this extra battery handle clicked onto the end, so it's a more compact unit, and really this is ideal for studio use because you don't need the portability of the battery pack. The next option is the battery only option. So what we're gonna do, just gonna unplug this AC power adapter, move that out of the way, and we're gonna take the battery handle, we're just gonna line up this arrow with the little silver bit on the tube light, and then just twist until it locks into place. You then take this wire, which comes out of the battery pack, plug it into the input of the light here. Using the light with battery power only means it's a lot more portable and maneuverable. So you can wave it all over the place and pretend you're a Jedi if that's what you're into. The third option for power is to use the handle in conjunction with the AC power adapter. To do that, leave this setup as it is. Rotate this around and you can see we've got this DC in here. Take the same power adapter that we just saw, Plug that in. Now we can use the light at the same time as the battery is charging. Press this button here. You can see the current charging indicator. The advantage of using the handle in conjunction with the AC power is you just get a bit more length on the tube. So for example, if you just wanted a bit more length when you're mounting this overhead, it gives you a little bit more flexibility at the same time as having permanent power connected. Let's have a look now at how we can operate this light using nothing but the built-in control panel and menus. You can do quite a lot with this light without needing to use any additional apps, which is really good if you just want a quick setup. There's four main modes we can use this light tube in. We've got CCT mode, HSI mode, gel mode, and FX mode. All right, to turn on this light, just slide this switch up. I'm gonna keep the light pointing down deliberately just so I don't blind you and overexpose everything. By default, this light boots up into CCT mode, which allows you to set the color temperature and the intensity. We can use this scroll wheel to navigate different options, and we can also push this down to act as a button. This moves the indicator down, and then we can actually use the scroll wheel to change that setting. So we're currently at 50% intensity. I'm just gonna drop that down to about 20%. If you press this button down again, it moves back up to the sub menu here. We can move across to CCT now, click the dial, that moves down to the actual color temperature, and we can adjust that to a really warm 2500 Kelvin, or all the way up to a really cold 7500 Kelvin. You've also got this green magenta color shift if you want to fine tune things. You can use this button to go up one menu level, and you can see here we're in CCT mode. I'm going to scroll to the right to changes into HSI mode, push down the enter HSI mode. We can work with the intensity, push the button down, change the intensity, push the button down to go up one sub menu, scroll across to hue, choose the hue that you want, say nice purple, scroll across to saturation, and adjust the saturation as you want. Click back to go up one menu option, or scroll across to gel mode. Push the dial to enter gel mode, 
Once again, we can alter the intensity. Got a little arrow here saying we can scroll across to more options. We can set the basic color temperature. Press to go back up and scroll across. Now we can choose the color filter. Currently it's on full CTB. Press to go down. We can have a third CTB and you can scroll through all of these different gel options. And go back. Then we'll scroll across to FX mode, which is the fourth main mode you can use. I'm going to push down to enter FX mode. Now you can scroll through all of these different built-in effects. So for example, we could choose candle, push down to enter that FX mode. Currently the effect is stopped. Push and then scroll across to turn on the mode. You can see we've got this arrow here, which means we've got additional options for this effect, such as the intensity and also color temperature. Just going to switch back using the back arrow to the main menu and we'll just head back to CCT mode. If you want to go straight to the main menu, press the menu button and then scroll across. And we have all of these other options such as DMX settings, the time before the screen automatically turns off and Bluetooth reset. When it comes to mounting, the great thing about this light is there's loads of built-in mounting points. We've got multiple sets of 3 8 and 1 quarter mounting points all the way along. At the end here, there's a 3 8 mounting point, and also at the end of the battery grip, there's another 3 8 mounting point. And if you're using this without the battery, just going to push down this little silver thing to unlock. At the end of the tube here, there's another 3 8 mounting point. There's even a NATO rail here. In the bag, there's also this 3 8 screw in eye. So, for example, we could screw this into the bottom or the top of this light and then hang it down. You could also screw a tripod directly into one of these mounting points or use a combination of a tripod and a ball head and even a quick release adapter to make this super easy to connect up. The ball head will allow you to rotate things around. You could screw it directly to the top of a light stand, either vertically or horizontally. You could use it in conjunction with a ball head screwed into a light stand. And if you're using C stands, you can use it in conjunction with a C stand grip head and a pin. Screw the pin into one of these mounting points and then insert that pin into the grip head. If you are going to be hanging these lights anywhere near talent or you just want extra security, you can go and screw in this eye and then use a safety chain on the eye just to make sure everyone's protected and also make sure this thing's not going to drop and break. If you want to control this light remotely, you can use the Sidus Link app, which is a free app available for iOS and Android. You can use this to control just one light, or if you've got multiple aperture lights, you can control them all wirelessly and remotely and even set up presets for different lighting setups. So let's go and open up the Sidus Link app. The first thing you're going to need is to set up a new scene if you don't already have one. A scene is basically a collection of one or more lighting fixtures. Tap the plus at the top right here to create a new scene. And if you want to, you can go and rename this. We'll just leave it as scene one. Tap the scene and this is going to bring you into the setup page where we can add one or more lighting fixtures. So turn on the light and hit the plus button here in the scene to go and add a new lighting fixture. Come to the menu, scroll across until you see this BT reset and then just push the wheel down and push it again to enter Bluetooth reset mode. You can see now the tube light has been found in the app. Tap to select it and then tap setup to add it to the scene. So now the light is paired with this phone, tap OK. And you can see now we've got this tube light fixture. If you want to, you can go and rename this tube light. So for example, we'll call it tube one and hit OK. And now to enter the actual settings for this light, tap tube one. And now you can remotely control this light via Bluetooth. For example, you can control the intensity, turn the light on and off. You can set quarter, half or full power. Currently in CCT mode here, so we can change the color temperature or use one of these preset buttons as well as the green magenta shift. Choose gel mode. So for example, we're going to work with tungsten. We'll use a CTB or half CTB, quarter CTB and so on. You can change over to the color mode. Choose either one of these preset colors. And of course, you can still alter the intensity here. We'll just drag your finger around to choose a different color. You can choose effects. We expand this arrow here. You can choose from these different effects. Let's have a nice fireplace effect. Hit the start button here to turn on the effect. That's way too bright. Turn that down. You can also adjust the frequency here. Let's have a really slow flickering fire. Just make it a bit less intense there. So there's loads more you can do using the Sidus Link app. If you want me to do a full in-depth tutorial on Sidus Link, let me know as that will be pretty epic. So while I'm toasting marshmallows by the fire here, this channel is all about making better looking, better edited and better sounding videos. If that's something you're interested to, please, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.